Okay, today we are taking, you're sitting on the seat. Nissan Frontier door apart. Thank you to the dude. Made the video and this part is a little bit difficult because can't get my socket in there. It'll be all right. I've got a video on YouTube from a great guy showing exactly how to take the frontier door apart to check the window switch and the window motor. Now mine the other day accidentally went down and the window's been stuck in the up position because it wouldn't go up and down so I had it in the up position. And it was 103 degrees the other day, and I accidentally hit all four window switch buttons. And for some reason, the window mo motor on this door moved. And this is a 10 millimeter socket that I'm using right here. And I've already taken this part out, this part out, and now I'm on the screws. So hopefully I won't drop one down in the door panel. This one, my ratchet's a little bit too long for. Okay, I got it. There it is. So let's see what we got so far. I've got this part out, which just lift and pull straight out. I've got this part out, which is plastic which he recommended using this pick, which I got from Harbor Freight for barely nothing. And then this part out, which also was with the pick. And now there are three screws. So I got to see where I'm going from here. Okay, this part of the video, he recommends using a screwdriver covered with duct tape, but I've got a paint tool covered with electrical tape. Now we're going to pop this plastic door panel loose and to do that we're going to go down here to where he said that this slot is and we're going to start working all the way around so let's do that you're under my truck I'm going to try to go in here okay and the tape is to okay. I don't want to break anything. Let's see. I might have to get a screw. screwdriver. I do have a screwdriver. It's a little one. Pause. Okay, slightly struggling. We got my big Craftsman screwdriver. It's over 40 years old. Put some tape on it. Gonna try again. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. The right tool, I guess. 
Working around. Got the screws off. I really hate tearing my truck up. Go around the bottom now. Continue. that off but is still connected to the cords okay Let's see got a I'm sweating like a stuck pig. Anyways, I've got to disconnect the wiring connector. I got it loose. And there's the panel door. Okay, we got that part. So far, so good. Now I just need to get my um, tester and test that and see if it's the switch or if it's the motor, which I'm thinking is the motor. Let's see what's going on in. Tommy Cat, what are you doing in the truck? Get out, Tommy Cat. Get out. I got this. But this thing, I don't know how to make it work. I just took it out of the pack. Not doing nothing is on. I don't know. Let me turn truck. Let's see if it'll do anything. I don't know if it even has batteries in it. It's brand new. Okay, so we skipped that part. Next part is take this off. This bracket this A-shaped bracket. Everything has 10 millimeter screws in it. Everything. Take my keys out. Sweating like a stuck pig out here. It's so hot. Humidity is god awful. Rained yesterday. I hate tearing my poor baby up. But the window went down accidentally the other day. We got to get it back up. I'm assuming the window motor needs to be replaced. I don't think it's a switch. Switch is working on all the other windows. So everything, every screw is going in the... peanut butter jar and every part is gone in a bag I just took that off and the guy that I'm watching I'll tell you his name in a minute he's pretty awesome 
But the next part he says is pull this plastic off. And that's the part I really didn't want to pull off. And I don't have a motor for my door either. But the main thing I need to do is get my window back up. Okay, the guy's name is Kentucky Yankee. So what I'm doing right now is, unfortunately, I'm taking this off. And this has all this sealer around it. Such a lovely, lovely liner. I hate tearing my stuff up. Get the switch over here. Like I said, I don't think the switch is bad. Lord help it. Boy, this is going to be a bitch to get back together. Oh, this silicone was on here. set it up on top of the truck where it won't get messed up. Now, Kentucky Yankee. Let me see. Try something else. Okay, weirdest position. Got the door hooked back up. Switches are working. I'm gonna try to get the window back up. Truck is running. Let's see what we can do. got a loose connection. Well, this is a hell of a way to do it. What you need is a person to tap while a person's doing a switch. But I don't have a tapper. Okay. Little by little. Patience is a virtue. I'm not gonna get it fixed right this second. I'm probably gonna try to put it back together. Okay. Oh boy. 
boy. That's fun. Okay, I got my window up. My neighbor over there, my good neighbor, he come over here and put his hands on the window. See where it says stop right there? And he held the window up while I hit the motor and beat the motor. I'm done. I'm a freaking mess. And I'm going to put my door back together now. Check him out. Kentucky Yankee. He is awesome on YouTube. If you got a problem with your frontier, door wiring, he's the person to look at. Uh, the shadow part's not as hard as I thought. It's not exactly right. right something else got to look back at the video again here goes back together the way you thought it would I had to stop and look at the dude's video you know, things never feel the exact same once you take some shit apart. I don't like taking stuff apart and putting it back together. I mean, okay, I'm these too tight. This door's going to have to come back together again. sealing stuff. Not going to be exactly the same. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. Next, next, next. Again. Get the chair. Get the door panel. wiring okay now this is the part that's going to suck Okay. 
Oops. Nissan door panel back together. I think the not fun part is going to be putting these little components back in. So the first thing I took out was this. That went like this. Hmm. I mean, it should be easy enough. A monkey could do it, right? Train monkey. Oh, easy shaky. Some more train monkey parts. Alright, I got that part. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's see, he said go straight in. break any little clips. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go, baby. Yeah. Oops. I forgot those three screws. Uh oh. <laughs> Get those three screws back in. That's right. I knew one of them was hard to get to. Too. I knew it was too easy breezy cover girl.
Get a full tutorial on this crap. Somebody's gonna make mistakes when you've never took a car door apart before. At least it's back together. My Toyota Supra the door was window was held up with a baseball bat. Somebody took the door apart for me, and they were trying to fix my lovely power window and they took my door apart and never put it back together again. Had the window held up by a baseball bat. So anyways. Uh-oh. I think I got this slightly out of alignment. It'll be all right. If it doesn't close, I'll take it back out. Yep, back together again. Nothing ever goes back the way you had it. As long as my door opens, that's all that matters. And one more thing this again. Okay, let's see. Slide on and slide on. So this goes on the way it came off. Oh, Bruises all over me, but okay, it's done. Get you one of these at Harbor Freight. Have a great day. It's Elizabeth in North Carolina.